Special Reports, MAMSE Conference, Dr. Gail Shankman, Mr. Troy Patterson, and Ms. Julie McConaughey. So as they're coming forward, uh, they attended and presented at the MAMSE Conference that we held here in Dearborn at Stout uh, last week, and we had four or 500 people from around the state attend? Over 500. Mm -hmm. Over 500. Okay. Right. We have a, a short video for you to watch of the um, opening and, and activities at, at MAMSI. I didn't know how to pronounce it, that's why. MAMSI. <laughs> MAMSI. <laughs> I want to welcome all of you to our 43rd annual conference and most of all I want to say thank you to Dearborn Schools, to Stout Middle School, to the committee for welcoming us into their home and sharing their school with us. We really are glad that you're here to enjoy this fantastic learning opportunity. I'm a middle school teacher. What's your superpower? My student helpers. Their shirts say, I have all the answers. What's your superpower? And so you can ask them questions, get directions. They do know it all. My middle school helpers, thank you so much. I wish you a great day in sharing with each other, learning from each other. I hope that you take something back that will make a difference in your classroom. But most of all, I want to thank you for choosing to be a teacher and for making a difference in the lives of a student each and every day in your classrooms. And I know that students will come back and thank you for the difference that you've made in their lives. So it's a very rewarding career. So you've got some dynamic speakers. You have learning strategies to discuss. And a very important issue of better preparing students for college life. We have a, a mayor who understands that it's our job to be partners in making Dearborn a great place to live, work, and provide an education and, and also to play and enjoy living in the community. So we're very lucky to have Jack O'Reilly as our mayor and we'd like to ask him to come up and share a few words with you. We now have a, a five-year high school program we're offering where students will graduate with an associate's degree with no cost to them. We uh, are a community that really looks at working together. We sit down with the schools, we meet regularly. So the partnership and the synergy between schools and, and communities has to be strong. I make a difference, what's your superpower? Get your pens and pencils ready because in addition to being fun to listen to, he'll also leave you with a lot of practical ideas to put to use immediately. Speaking on Celebrity Spirit Whispers, help me welcome Mr. Mormon. You are awesome, thank you. It could be any adult, any adult, in the presence of a child who teaches to a child's spirit, their energy, their attitude, their I can stance towards life, the degree of personal power that they experience in their lives, their ability to problem solve and to work with others and, and, and to feel like they, they're able and capable and responsible and valuable and important and they care and they want to learn, that's spirit. I look at your conference brochure. This thing is jam packed with powerful stuff. We got math in here. We got language arts. Or someone in geography. Or someone on test stuff. We got boys and girls learn differently. Differentiated math. After school geography. We got um, team building. We got co-teaching. Wow, I don't know how you decide which ones to go to. <laughs> Putting on a statewide conference is an exciting opportunity. Um, and it's something that we really grabbed a hold of. It's an opportunity to bring in some national speakers. Um, we had, for example, the president um, and the executive director from the Association of Middle Level Educators, uh, the national organization for middle level education. We had over 500 presentations. I'm, I'm sorry, over 100 presentations. 500 would have been a lot of fun. Um, over 100 presentations ranging on um, all kinds of strategies, language arts, math, how kids learn. We had over 500 educators who attended. 
It also provided the opportunities to interact with excellent educators from around the entire state to have those deep conversation and sharing of successful strategies. It gave us a chance to really focus on the middle school learner and focus on strategies that can be integrated into the classroom. All of this was the result of a lot of hard work by a great committee. The committee members included um, Dr. Gail Shankman, uh, Ms. Jennifer Frizel, Mary Pizamenti, Janice Schmidt, Amy Keith Wardlow, and Mason Ali Bazzi. Um, and probably the person that worked the hardest, um, even though she didn't ask for this, um, and that was Julia McConaughey. And she did a <laughs> fantastic job um, and uh, sends a lot of really late night emails if you ever work on a committee <laughs> with her too. So um, it's my pleasure to um, ask Julia to come up and share a little bit of the experience. Choice too humble. He worked harder, if not uh, twice as hard. Um, I was asked to talk to you a little bit about the planning, what went into putting together a statewide conference. And so, um, again, just like Troy said, we had a strong team, and that made all the difference. We, they had honed organizational skills, and that's the reason the planning went so smoothly. We planned for almost a year and a half for this conference. Um, we received this huge book of stuff to do. Uh, about 18 months ago. I don't think we opened it. No. <laughs> so <laughs> we actually, based on our experiences and uh, some helpful hints from the Warren Woods team who hosted the conference last year, and uh, the Mamsey people and Troy's experience and a lot of our experiences, we were able to plan this. I also wanted to mention, I think another reason we were successful is because Dearborn Public Schools professional development is, uh, likens itself to a state conference where uh, teachers go to various workshops. They have choice um, to meet their individual needs. And so I know that uh, the coordinators and Dr. Shankman have been instrumental in planning those. And so we had a lot of experience behind us. Uh, the logistics was just a matter of uh, knowing all the parts, planning how they'll work together, and assigning roles. Each person carried out their roles efficiently and accurately. Everything ran smoothly, making the conference a success, and the planning look effortless, even though it was anything but. Finally, I'd like to recognize Stout staff and others for stepping up and going above and beyond the call of their duties. Board members showed up and welcomed guests and supported the conference. The office staff did a lot of the behind the scenes work for the conference. I can't say enough about our maintenance staff. They set it all up, broke it all down. I mean, before that was done, honestly, I didn't really, I, I knew it, but I did, couldn't envision it. But once they had everything up and they really worked really hard um, getting that together for us. The support staff from our school and others stepped in to man registration tables, uh, pass out lunches, man our snack stands. Teachers readied their classrooms. They manned the parking lots in the freezing cold, and so much more. All of the middle school administrators and teachers did everything and anything asked to them from carpooling, parking off-site, attending sessions, and leading sessions. Last but not least, you heard a little bit in the video, 30 students each day different so 60 students gave up that day off to come to Stout Middle School to help our guests find their way around our building and answer questions they were a hit and I had comment after comment about what fine young people we have here in Dearborn Public Schools uh, I wanted to share a little story uh, you saw that the kids had t-shirts the my my teachers got t-shirts like this <laughs> And uh, my support staff, I, I made t-shirts. I didn't make them personally. I had someone make them. They said, I make a difference. What's your superpower? And then the children had uh, t-shirts on that said, I have all the answers. What's your superpower? And the keynote speaker, Chick Mormon, walked up to one of our kids and said, hmm, so you have all the answers. And without hesitation, she looked at him and said, yes, I do. <laughs> and he noticed she was carrying a little bag of freebies, which they went to every vendor and got a freebie. And he said, okay, well, then answer me this. How many things are in that bag? And she looked at him, and without hesitation again, she goes, more than two. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have great kids. We've got a great staff. We've got a wonderful district, and we really did shine um, on those two days. And I thank you for your support. Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> 
Thanks, Julie. Uh, Mary and I are just here to talk about the sessions that we offered on Thursday and Friday, just kind of an overview. Um, we started off with a keynote speaker in Chick Mormon, and we booked him over a year and a half in advance because he's high in demand. He's the author of two books, Teacher Talk and The Spirit Whisperer, pretty much mandatory reading in our district. It seems every building has read either one or both of those. He also graciously agreed to do some breakout sessions for us on Thursday, which most keynotes will come. They'll do their keynote and leave, and he didn't. He stuck around all day. Uh, during the conference, two-day conference, we had 134 sessions that were offered to the teachers to choose from. And of those, I'm really proud to say that 39 of those sessions were led, led by Dearborn staff itself. So it's nice to see so many of our in-house experts stepping up and sharing that with others. Our session topics included things such as using technology in the classroom, engaging at-risk students in all aspects of the school, reading and writing in the Common Core, differentiating math lessons, brain-based learning, and we even had Central Michigan University students presenting what's going on in upcoming education to kind of rejuvenate some of us who've been around for a while. Mary? Well, we had some um, advantages and plenty of consequences uh, from, from all of this. Um, first, it, there was some wonderful support of our district initiatives. Our math and literacy coordinators presented strategies and assessments and lessons to support Common Core. In fact, um, in some of the sessions now, teachers are um, emailing us and asking us to come into their classroom to support that some more, to model lessons, provide resources. So that was a wonderful consequence. Um, not to mention some of the things like um, the motivation that some of the, uh, the conference sessions offered. One was on humor. Um, others were just ways to motivate the, mo the middle school student and, um, and the tech support. So there was a, a lot of variety, but we're seeing that a lot in the classrooms now and lots of questions being asked about it. You know, we also saw a lot of collaboration um, with the teachers. Um, there were teams or grade level teachers deciding together to go to a session, um, choosing things that they might like to use in the classroom so they can plan together. We saw a cross-district collaboration. One team from Bryant got together to present their ideas and what's been successful in Daily Five. But it, it turned into a forum for the whole district talking about Daily Five and their successes and their challenges. And, and they've exchanged emails, and now they're all collaborating together, too. Um, we also had the pre-service teachers from Central Michigan come in. And because there was a lot of discussion in the uh, sessions themselves, you know, we got that infusion of some new ideas from them. So that and the, the fact that we were sharing ideas from other districts made it a, a very unique opportunity for everyone to share. Um, we also had principals learning right beside their teachers. They selected some strategies and some sessions to attend that they might like to use in their their schools themselves. So the whole day was um, a very positive environment with teachers and other professionals from around the state learning about speci specifically the middle school learner. We had a lot of help. It was a great conference. Thank you very much. Any questions? I think we, they deserve a hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you know any um, educators looking for a good gift for them, rumor is Julie has a few more of these. Here. Just 15 bucks a piece. They're only 10 bucks. Thank you very much. I was only there for a short time in the morning, but um, I was also very impressed with the students that I, I did see at the time. And I thought those T-shirts were really great. They, they, were, they were very identifiable and very appropriate. So I'm glad you had a good... Good conference.